Okay, it is time to combine some packs here. We have covered how to put three modules together from a Nissan Leaf. Uh, that's what is right here. These are three modules, eight volts a piece, uh, series together. This is essentially a 24 volt battery right here. It's kind of loose because I'm gonna put it all together in a second, but we've got two of them here. So there are three modules, three modules, two 24 volt batteries, these are in series, these are in series. We're going to parallel the two together to make one 24 volt battery with double the capacity. So uh, just like always, the one quarter all thread will work. It's a little easier to get in there. You can beef it up if you'd like. If you got more than six modules or you're going to be doing something special in your installation, the three eighths will fit. But these, that, these are the longest sections that I have. That's uh, I had three eighths when I originally started the whole project, and when I only had three modules, that's what I was using. Uh, but when I got more, I decided to go quarter inch, so I don't have long enough ones there. So today we will be using quarter inch. So the uh, I'm only going to be doing two packs here, and it'll be a little bit different. Not a whole lot if you're going to be doing three packs or four packs or uh, 48 volts or whatever you're going to be doing, but. I'm going to make sure that the positive lines up with this positive. That's the only thing, you know, if, if it's just a matter of flipping it around because when I go to wire these two together, I'll be able to use a bus bar for that connection. And it'll make sense here in a minute. I'm just going to get this, uh, uh, these outside bar, bracket, all threaded, holder, majavis, whatever you want to call them. Tires in the way. So what we did though is just we put 20, or it's, it's nice that they, they weigh pretty much the same as their voltage. So if you want to look or remember the numbers that way, actually each module is 8 pounds or 7.8, whatever, something pounds. But uh, so we, the voltage of the batteries are 24 and they're, they weigh 24 pounds. Works out nice and conveniently. So I just combined two of them. All of these together are going to be 48 volts. Why did I cut the bent piece of all thread to do that one with? There we go. I don't really need to do all of them. I just wanted to get them sort of tight so that I can show you the connections on here. So now that we've got these together, it's going to be easy to parallel this positive connection real quickly with a bus bar. But then we're going to use a six gauge wire to make the outside negative connection. Um, this would be the difference in the process if you're going to have more than two packs. This is a simple way to do it with, with just two of them. Um, and if you wanted to do more, uh, I'll explain here in a second. But there's an easier way to combine them if you're going to have more than two packs. This is just a way to do it logically with uh, six or two packs. So, uh, bus bar, positive to positive right here. I'll show you again before I cover it up, I guess. Well, essentially, we've got two 24 volt batteries. We are going to parallel them, so positive to positive. And then we're going to take this negative to this negative with a wire, six gauge wire. But right here, we can just use a bus bar. Bus bar. And we're going to use our trusty uh, screwdriver with the whatever bolt attachment on it. Why? Because it greatly reduces the chance of shorting things out. Because these terminals are pretty close together. And although it, on one end that makes it easier to work with, on another that makes it much easier to short things out. And when you short things out, things like this happen. I've done it several times. It's not like it's a... Uh, mistake nobody makes to see that I don't know if you can see that but that's a mark of just a, a split second spark that because I had this not up and down I, it, it swung down and sparked it's happened to a couple people and a lot happened to a couple more but everything you can do to try to prevent it like working with them vertically like this if you're gonna end up with them on their side it doesn't matter how you install them that's another good point like in the actual cars, they lay vertically, they lay horizontally, they put them in different directions actually to save room um, so that on the underside of the car where the battery pack is, it, like in between the seats and whatnot, they're, they're vertical, but underneath the floor, they're horizontal.
horizontal. Okay, so I, I wanted to clear this up. I mentioned doubling up or doubling down on some cords or, or cables to uh, increase the amperage through them. Because when you start uh, uh, adding packages or packs, packages, packs, whatever the same, uh, together like this, the, the amps start getting pretty crazy. And you want to make sure you have uh, the, the heavy enough uh, cable between your, your, your in your parallel uh, connections. So the, this best bus bar is way more than you're going to need for, for definitely for two packs. But um, for two packs, I wanted to have a six gauge wire. These are in my hand because I just wanted to clear up on this doubling down. It goes the opposite way, just like in, in golf rules. This is two four gauge wires. If I doubled these down, it would be a two gauge wire, not an eight gauge wire. Okay, we're, we're doubling, it goes the opposite direction, like golf rules, like I just said, I guess. So when you double down on a four, it goes to two, not to eight, but I don't want four, two, or eight. I want a six. So I'm gonna use six between my two packs here, and we're gonna use the same bolts. Uh, you can buy this size of cable anywhere, Home Depot, Auto Store, whatever. And I've got it bent at this angle because once I put it back in my case down here, it fits better. But I'm not gonna add the uh, connections for the uh, charge controller or the inverter right now. That'll be in a video I'm gonna do right after this. But I figured it needed to be in its own its own video. Right now we're just gonna end up with a 24 volt battery with twice the capacity, somewhere around 2.2, 3.3 kilowatts. This one. Uh, one's slightly bigger than the other. I've told that story many times. Don't order your modules at four different periods at spread out over four months and all the different times to get different cars and different mileages anyway. I got different voltages in my modules and so they're a little, they get, they get off more than if you ordered them all at the same time. So we got this at 200. We're going to test our uh, pack all together. Um, make sure we got 24 volts here. 23. 23.9 is good for me. Um, that's we now got six modules together. If we wanted to test each individual model, we'll click that down to 20 and test each individual module. Should be somewhere around eight, 7.83. These have been sitting apart from each other, so they're probably literally equaling themselves out at the moment. I might even be able to feel a little bit of heat. Eh, not really, but. Because one has been disconnected to do these videos, I've only been using three of these batteries in my system. Right now, I have no power because all my batteries are sitting on top of this, <laughs> on top of the power cabinet instead of inside. But anyway, that is going to be all for this one, this video. Anyway, I want to flip this on its side so you can see it, what it finally looks like. This would be six modules now. Go over, go over it again. Three and three. 24 volt battery, 24 volt battery. We paralleled those two together. This is the parallel positive connection. This is the negative parallel positive or parallel connection. So we will now take the, on the next video you'll see, I'm gonna connect my charge controller and inverter to the negative right here, all in the same terminal. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll put one over here. It's essentially the same thing. And then I'm gonna split these two. So I'm gonna put the charge controller right here and the uh, or actually it's going to be the inverter right here and the charge controller right here but that'll be the next video I just wanted to go over how to put two packs together we now have 24 volt battery double the capacity roughly 3.2 3.3 3.2 3.4 really uh, kilowatts for less than 500 bucks this is about 280 275 ish you know uh, try to find uh, three kilowatts of brand new lithium lithium ion you might battleborn might have that for three grand you know as opposed to 275 there's a pretty big difference there three grand would be base minimum but that's the beauty of the leaf modules you might lose a little bit of capacity from their original factory specs but even at that capacity loss it's so much cheaper that hell just buy another three or buy another seven if you want to do a 48 volt system you know, uh, you can't use them in 12 volt systems, but the price difference is so incredibly massive that you know if you if you if you get three and they're 70 percent and you've lost full 30 percent because they're used, hell, you're still be you'll still be able to buy three more packs to make up for it before you even get to the price range of one in in a Battleborn or in a, a Windy Nation or whatever else is, is out there these days. A lot of people are 
are making different uh, batteries, but ease of use, I'm going to go over that one more time because people seem to want to argue me on that one. These things are by far the easiest electric vehicle module to take physically out of the car and just use. But, you know, there's a lot of options out there. There's Teslas and there's Toyota's got several, Ford's got several, the Volt and, and Chevy, with the, Chevy with the Volt, Ford with the uh, Focus and whatnot. There's all kinds of modules and they come on all kinds of bolts and they come in all kinds of cells, different sizes and pouches and, you know, tiny little 18650s and whatnot. Now, that's what Teslas are right now. Those tiny little 18650, they look like a, a double A on steroids, but they, they're a powerful tiny little battery. And when you put a whole bunch of them together, they the, the, the energy density is actually higher or, or lower, depending on how you want to look at it, than, than these. However, the headache of dealing with 400 of those little tiny cells in one pack, you know, and then there's like four packs per car. You have to get a, a, an insane BMS or battery management system, battery monitoring system, depending on uh, how you're installing it or who it's coming from. But these guys, you don't do anything. You just pop these out of the car and literally they have the terminals that you need. They weigh eight pounds a piece. Each eight pounds gets you 450 to 500 uh, watt hours of usable lithium ion that's 90% dischargeable okay AGM supposed to be the the second best thing to lithium right now you can only discharge that what 50 60 percent at max and that's that's yeah they, you know, that's the, like the max window of their operating voltages and they don't even recommend you do that all the time but these things Theoretically, you could bring them down to 10% every day. That doesn't seem logical because if you're doing that, it means that you need more batteries. Your lifestyle just is requiring more power. Um, but again, when that comes down to these guys, that just means another 240 bucks for another 1.2 kilowatts, another 1,200 watt hours of usable lithium. Um, and uh, you know, it's uh, the the Focus batteries. They come in like uh, a weird seven and seven point seven five volts. In, that are in like two pack, the, the two modules come to that, and then those two packs are put together in larger packs. Um, nobody was thinking about long term uh, use of these used batteries like Nissan was. You know, back 10, 15 years ago when they were originally putting these packs together, nobody was thinking, what are we going to do with these batteries after the car's dead? Uh, Nissan wasn't claiming to. But their engineering department obviously was either just being lazy or they actually had a, a foresight enough to say, hey, there's going to be a lot of power left in these things that won't necessarily power that car, but the uses of them beyond that are, are astronomically infinite. Um, this and, and a tiny little, you know, I live in a, a 120 foot square foot bus. The, uh, this is a tiny and only one, uh, a tiny uh, aspect of the market or the geographic that this could be marketed to. But I mean, think about, uh, you could have an entire greenhouse inside of your garage or in your basement or whatever, completely off the grid of your, of your uh, house and the power bill that you're paying. You know, if you want to supplement something, uh, a, a second business that you don't want to get the coding for and all, all the, the special uh, electrical installation, do an off-grid tiny little system. Less than a thousand bucks, you can have 1.3 kilowatts, a 2,500 watt inverter, uh, you know, uh, 600 watts in solar panels, an MPP charge controller with a Bluetooth that you can show off to friends outside 50 feet away, charging your, your specs and, and changing voltages from your phone. I mean, come on, the bragging rights alone of recycling lithium ion to me anyway, all the speci uh, the technical specifications and the beefiness of the batteries and the lightness and the cheapness and the, the ease of use and the user friendliness that you don't have to monitor it as much, that's that's all great and and, and, and uh, just the cake, but really the icing to me is the fact that you're you're recycling one of the most like nastiest chemicals that we harvest from this com or from this earth. You know, everything we can do to not do more of that and reuse the stuff that we've already put in batteries, that, that's, that's, that's winning and having your cake and eating it. That's, that's uh, jumping over the catch-22 fence and figuring it all out at the same time. Nobody is losing. Nobody is losing in this situation. The company that sells these things has literally turned a business or turned these into a business, you know, taking them out of a car. And they branched out from just the, uh, the LEAP modules. But, uh, you know, when you can turn a, uh, a used product and recycle it and turn that into a business, 
and help out a completely new demographic and 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 re and do it all at the same time out recycling some of the nastiest uh, extraction process chemicals that that we have but uh, that's just winning we get a cheaper price a more powerful battery there's a new business created jobs are created we're recycling you're getting a super powerful battery for one sixth the price of anything that you could possibly think of brand new I, I don't know how else to describe it and and yeah I can rant and rave about it all day long and I will because the more people that know about it the more people that can be doing it and the more people that can be recycling it and powering their lives for a fraction of the cost and I'll shut up now and do the next video and show you how to connect it to the rest of the system